Now, hidden deep within Photoshop, we have kind of a cool slash hidden feature. I'm not really sure what it's used for or when you can use it effectively, although I have used it a couple times. It's here under the gradient tool. If you click on this little gradient stripe to open the gradient editor, you not only have a solid gradient under the gradient type dropdown menu, but you also have a noise gradient. You can increase or decrease the roughness of the gradient so you can get anything ranging from a cool and beautiful pastel array of colors, which are smoothly blended together, to something much more rough looking like this. If we reduce the roughness, you can even constrain to certain colors. So let's say you only want variations of green. Dump all the red and blue. You can restrict colors, add transparency, and then hit the randomize button a bunch of times to mix it up, right? Boom, boom, boom. Cool. We take the gradient we get, uh, which will be this one. Hit OK. And if we just drag it out here across our document, you can see we get this very bizarre yet strangely interesting looking gradient. That's it. The noise gradient. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutfid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.